Hi, I'm Chun Bo Lang from Northwestern Polytechnical University. Here we present our work, Learning What Not to Segment, a new perspective on field short segmentation. As can be seen from naming, field short segmentation is closely related to field short learning and image segmentation. This particular task has been gradually studied since 2017. Follow the setting of field short learning, the original data set is divided into two parts, the base set and the novel set according to categories. The term field short here refers to the samples of the novel class, where the base class still consists of a large number of label samples. Image segmentation is better understood as a pixel-wise classification task. Where given an input image, each pixel needs to be assigned to a category in the predefined semantic site. A common framework is shown below where the query image is segmented under the guidance of the spot image and its corresponding mask annotation. The main challenge lies in the difference between the query spot image pairs, such as appearance, shape, and scale. Especially for the case with few available samples, the variability between images has a significant impact on performance. However, most previous works are based on the mental learning framework derived from classification tasks. Models trained based on such frameworks have been shown in our results to be very fragile in their generalization ability, easily activating the base class regions instead of being ideally class agnostic. For example, in the figure below, we aim to segment the novel class Basico, where the base class person is a distractor. It can be observed that previous SOTA model can segment the body region of the Basico, but is easily to be confused with the base class. Based on this observation, a natural question is why not use an additional network to spread these base class regions? In our work, it refers to the base learner. On the right is a simplified diagram, where the three sub-figures indicate the baseline method, our method in the standard setting, and the generalized setting, respectively. Our method can be divided into three parts, base learner, mental learner, and example module where the base learner can be any traditional segmentation network, such as PSP-NET and DeepLab. The meta-learner represents the few short segmentation network, such as PFE-NET and HSNet, and the example module integrates the prediction results of the two learners. Considering the sensitivity of the meta-learner, an adjustment factor per se is further introduced. On the whole, the above process is not limited to a certain base learner or meta learner and can therefore be considered as a worthless game. The point is how to design the example module. We concatenate the background feature map of the meta learner and the foreground feature map of the base learner since they are both predictions for irrelevant regions. The background feature map of the base learner is not utilized due to the complex composition. The adjustment factor per side is computed according to the gram matrices of the low-level support and query features, which is only used to adjust the prediction yielded by the mental learner. Here we present the experimental results on Pasco and Coco. It can be found that our method outperforms the SOTA HSNet and baseline approach by a considerable margin, illustrating the effectiveness of introducing the base learner. The last two rows shows the irrelevant targets of the base class are effectively suppressed, such as people in the first column and dining table in the second column. The segmentation performance does not degrade when there is no base class target as shape in the third column. We also extend the master to a more realistic but challenging setting, namely generalized future segmentation where the pixels of both novel and base classes are required to be determined. It can be noticed that our master exhibit decent segmentation performance, while the query image contains only base class objects, only novel class objects, or both. Thanks for watching. Please see the paper or visit our poster session for details.